In court news now, defendants in the corruption trial of Long Island MP Adrian Gibson got the results they were hoping for after the Court of Appeal pushed the high-profile trial back to a later date. Fern Carey is following the case for us. The details are in this next report. During the virtual hearing, attorney Mary Desil Casey, who is representing parliamentarian and former water and sewage executive chairman Adrian Gibson, told the court that he had filed a notice of appeal, a certificate of urgency and supporting affidavits, but not submissions, all in an effort to appeal a ruling from Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson, in which she dismissed Gibson's constitutional application, claiming that his right to a fair trial had been violated. Now, the fact that Desil had not filed any submissions in the matter did not sit well with Justice of Appeal John Isaacs, who asked to see why he had not done so if the matter was urgent. He noted that the prosecution had treated the matter as urgent and had filed their own submissions, prompting the seal to explain that he had just found out that the date for the appeal had been set on Friday pass. The panel also questioned how they would proceed with the appeal in the absence of any submissions from counsel. Ducille then requested a short adjournment, but the Director of Public Prosecutions, Cordell Fraser, vigorously opposed the move. The court then heard from Attorney Dawn Saunders, who is representing former Water and Sewage Corporation General Manager Elwood Donaldson. He also indicated that he had filed a notice of appeal and certificate of urgency, but not submissions, and he too requested an adjournment. Justice Isaacson said he would have dismissed the appeal applications. However, he said there are a number of housekeeping matters which remain outstanding, which does in fact raise some constitutional point. In the end, the court noted that the trial, which was scheduled to begin on Tuesday, May 23rd, is stayed pending the determination of the appeal. Justice Isis also indicated that that applies to all of the defendants, even those who had not appealed. The hearing is now set for June 13th at 11 a.m. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Fern Carey.